Welcome everyone y bienvenidos a todos. I only wish I could be with you live and in person. Never mind. I'm so excited to be with you virtually as we reveal the remarkable outcomes of Arts and Economic Prosperity 6, which is an economic impact study of the nation's nonprofit arts and culture organizations and their audiences, also known as AEP6. Now, this is the 30th year of this most important research. Over the years, it has served as a powerful resource for advocates from Capitol Hill to local council meetings. And this is my favorite part. For the first time, Puerto Rico has participated in this endeavor and as a Puerto Ricanya, I am so proud to be sharing in this experience. And to keep this to the point, I will continue in English with Spanish subtitles. But please know that this has also been recorded by me for my people completely in Spanish and available online. Now, as some of you may know, I have been an advocate for the arts for a long time and I have spent days with Americans for the Arts on Capitol Hill. In fact, most recently, I delivered their Nancy Hanks lecture on arts and public policy at the Kennedy Center, and then joined advocates from all over the nation for Arts Advocacy Day. This was right before the COVID-19 shutdown. We all know what happened then. Virtually every arts presenting organization had to close or cancel performances and exhibitions. It was, it was just a devastating time for the arts and artists. However, once everything opened again, I returned with such excitement. I remember very well how we began our evenings in our favorite restaurants and shopped in the local boutique stores. We went out after the show to talk about our arts experience. We paid for parking and maybe a hotel now that we could get back to safely traveling for arts events. All that economic activity was generated because we attended a cultural event and that is what AEP6 is all about. Most folks think of arts and culture organizations as wonderful local amenities, and they are, but they're also businesses, folks. When I was working on a show, those of us on stage were the only ones who the audience saw. But it isn't just actors earning a living through a production. There were designers, costumers, set builders, marketers, accountants, caterers, building maintenance professionals. The arts employ people in a vast range of industries. Americans for the Arts captures all of this the real hard data in the study. What's more, they didn't stop with just the economic numbers. They also dove into the social impact of the arts. Americans for the Arts interviewed, are you ready? A quarter of a million attendees. Yes, a quarter of a million attendees. And 89% of them said they shared a sense of pride in the neighborhood or community. 86% of these people would feel a terrible sense of loss if this arts experience were no longer available. The same people said they want these cultural events around for future generations. I'm asking, that's what we were after. So here is our call to action. We don't just do research and then pop it up on the shelf. I want today to be about action. We have such an exciting group of speakers today, and I'm asking each and every one of you listening, from your perspectives as artists, workers within the arts ecosystem, business leaders, government officials, and audience members to tell us why the arts are important to you and your community. How can we use the AEP6 study to be advocates and champions for more arts funding and more arts-friendly policies so that 
everyone has the opportunity to participate and engage in the arts. I think I made that clear. Now, it's time to get the most of what is a truly special event. Thank you for sharing with me.